Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Arun. Today, I'm going to answer a question that I get asked numerous times. I did write a blog about it. The question is, hey Arun, can I invoke a pipeline from a pipeline? Uh, so I'm going to answer that question using this video. I've already written a blog. Um, so stick around till the end and I'll show you how you can invoke a pipeline from a pipeline. Hey, if you're new here, my name is Arun. I make videos on EPM and ERP, specifically on integrations and analytics, uh, ERP reporting, OTBI and BA publisher. So if you are interested in these kind of topics, make sure to subscribe to the channel. All right. Without further delay, let's get started. So what we want to try to do is, um, can we invoke a pipeline from a pipeline in EPM? It, it, the short answer is yes, you can. And I'm going to show you how you can do that. So obviously there is no out of the box job type that can be used to invoke the pipeline. So how can you do it? All right, so let's find out. So I'm logged into the instance I just want to show you uh, the two pipelines that we have. So application data exchange, and you can uh, search pipeline and uh, you should see the pipelines that you have. Uh, so you have two pipelines, um, invoke pipeline and file operations. So what I want to do is I want to run the invoke pipeline. And within that invoke pipeline, I want to invoke the file operations pipeline. Now, these are pretty simple <laughs> pipelines, uh, but the concept is what I want to show you. Okay, so let me open file operations pipeline. This only has one stage, one job type. Uh, basically, what it does is it just reads a file in the EPM inbox folder and it unzips it, right? That's all it does. So this is the file operations um, pipeline and let's go back to the properties you can see the pipeline code is file opex file opex and that is the that's the code of the pipeline the other pipeline is invoke pipeline and within that invoke pipeline i just have one stage and one job type okay so uh, i want to run this pipeline and then this pipeline should invoke the other pipeline all right let's see how we can do that so i've written a blog i've created another video also showing you how to invoke um, a groovy uh, how to invoke a pipeline using groovy uh, business rule right uh, so that's what we're going to use to invoke a pipeline from a pipeline so the groovy business rule is pretty straightforward um, I'm using a connection and I'll show you the connection details and how to set it up. But the GUI business rule is pretty straightforward. You use the connection and you, uh, you invoke the REST API. It's a post operation and you pass the job name, which is file OPEX, which is the code uh, of the um, pipeline. And you mention the job type. In this case, we are invoking a pipeline. So the job type is pipeline. And you pass the variables. So obviously I have attaching the logs, uh, whether to send the email and who do you send it to. Those are the details that we have in the uh, business rule. So this is a Groovy business rule, which uses the REST API, EPM REST API to invoke the file operations pipeline. So let me show you the connections. So go back, go into tools, uh, where's tools, where's tools? tools connections this is the connection that i've created which is pipeline the url format because we are invoking the pipeline in the same server or same instance we are providing localhost right localhost colon 9000 that is invoking a rest api in the same instance and slash aif slash rest slash v1 slash jobs i'm also setting the header so you can um, set the header and content type is application slash JSON. Make sure to use the username and password, and obviously uh, username should be someone who has system administrator, service administrator <laughs> role, system administrator. Um, anyway, so once you've set it up, click on save and close, and you should be good to go with the connection. Uh, once again, go back to the Groovy business rule. So that's the connection that we're using here to invoke the REST API, all right? Okay, now in the invoke pipeline, pipeline, 
So this pipeline is where I, I want to run this pipeline, the invoke pipeline pipeline. And within that pipeline, I want the file operations pipeline to be invoked. So how do we do that? Let's go there. So in this in this pipeline, I do have one stage and one job. So let me go to the properties of the job. And you'd see that the job is a business rule and it is the groovy business rule that we created, which invokes the pipeline using REST APIs. So within this pipeline, I'm, I have a job, which is the groovy business rule, which is invoking the other pipeline. So the, essentially this helps you to invoke a pipeline from a pipeline, all right? I uh, hope that's not confusing. Uh, so Groovy Business Rule is what we can use at the moment to invoke a, a pipeline. And you can um, have that Groovy Business Rule in another pipeline as a job type. So in that way, when you run that pipeline, it uh, invokes the business rule, Groovy Business Rule. Groovy Business Rule in turn invokes the uh, pipeline, all right? So let's test this out. So I'm going to go ahead and, and delete the file. So in Box Explorer, I'm just going to delete this file. And this is the zip file that we have. Okay, so if everything goes well, we should be able to see that. So this file operations pipeline is the one which unzips the file. Okay, but I'm going to run this pipeline, which is invoke pipeline. Then no parameters, I'm click on run. And you can see that this is running. And, and it was too fast, you didn't see this one running, but this ran too. So this pipeline invoked this pipeline using a Groovy Business Rule. And then if I go into overview, actions, EPM inbox outbox, you should see that the file has been unzipped and placed in the EPM inbox folder. So if somebody asks you, can I invoke a pipeline from a pipeline? Yes, you can. You just need to use a Groovy Business Rule. So the Groovy Business Rule would be invoking a pipeline. I keep saying to everyone to learn, <laughs> upskill yourself. It is very important for you to learn Groovy because a lot of actions and a lot of uh, functionality is um, achievable using Groovy. Okay, that's all I had for today. This was a very quick video just to show you how you can invoke a pipeline from a pipeline using Groovy. <laughs> all right, uh, if you have questions, please feel free to ask me. Um, and, uh, you know, obviously, if you're connected on LinkedIn, you can message me there. And um, yeah, hopefully this was helpful. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.